What's good, YouTube? It's Ricky Rose, and there's been a lot of information being put out by, you know, NBA on Twitter, and I just want to bring you all of this information. I'm going to do separate videos on um, each piece of information that came out. There's been a lot. There's been the top 10 point guards, shooting guards, and small forwards so far. I'm pretty sure they're going to put out the power forwards tomorrow, and then on Monday, they're going to put out the centers. And I will do a video on that as well. Uh, but this video right here is about the height restrictions. I am a little late. Most people already did videos on this, but I'm going to cover it myself. Just in case for those people that did not see it, you know, I, I'm going to just put it out. Don't worry about the background. I was just putting some random gameplay from 2K15. But I put, the, I put up the picture, and this is what the heights are going to be. They restricted the heights on the small forward. And I believe it was the shooting guards. Because you... The shooting guards used to be 6'9 in 2K15. But they did lower the small forwards. Instead of it going to 7 feet, which was overpowered to begin with, they lowered it down to 6'10. And I'm perfectly fine with that. You know, there won't be some overgrown goofs on the courts, you know, catching rebounds, dunking on them, using their height to their advantage. They pretty much kept the point guards and the shooting guards the same. It never changed from 2K15. The point guards will be from 5'7 to 6'7. The shooting guards will be from 5'10 to 6'8, which is a reasonable, you know, height for a shooting guard. Perfectly fine with that. The small forwards, that's where the decrease came along. They went from 6'3 to 6'10. That's perfect. The power forwards is 6'5 to 7. That actually got the nerf because in 2K15, I believe the um the power forwards go to 7-1, not just 7 feet flat. So I think they got the nerf. And then the centers are 6-8 to 7-3. They also mentioned a few other details that I wanted to list. Depending on the style and height, both small and tall attributes will fluctuate. A 6'7 point guard will be one of the slower point guards in the game. As in, the bigger you are, the slower and the more sloppy you actually play. So you cannot just come on the court, you know, making your character big as hell and think that you're going to kill. You're most likely going to get stripped because you're tall and you look like a goof. There are three different type of scoring styles. There's inside, outside, and balance. That determines your caps and alongside height. There won't be no more seven-foot small forwards that'll shoot like Ray Allen and dribble like Kyrie Irving. They finally took that out. Thank God. Once again, the bigger that you make your character, the slower he will be. He'll get stripped more often because he is taller. I'm not saying point guards will, you know, get stripped easier. I'm not saying that. But if you're gonna be a big man, you're gonna make him seven three. He's gonna get stripped constantly. He already does at fifteen, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna carry on in two K sixteen. But the bigger you are, the more sloppy you will play. They they actually nerfed it a little more. I'm I'm guessing in two K sixteen, and I hope it is like that. Because now you can't just come on the court big as hell, you know, dunking on everybody, catching all the rebounds. Thank God they actually did something about it. And it took them a whole game to do so. But it's Ricky Rose and I'm out of here. I just wanted to bring you out this little information. Most of you I probably already know. But just in case you did it, here it goes. And I'll be uploading more videos tomorrow. I'll upload about two or three to catch up because I'm late on the uploads. But I will catch up. And thank you. Please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know who you're going to build. What type of character you're going to create.